for them. Uh, so the winds have died down, things are clearing up, and temperatures are cooling off. No excuse not to get out and vote, right? Exactly. Th exactly <laughs> right. Uh, get out and vote today. Cooler temperatures today, but we're still going to be above normal. We're talking about upper 80s for daytime highs downtown today. But wow, wait till you see how the temperatures drop over the course of the next couple of days. By Friday, everybody's going to be into the low 60s around here in Southern California. Great shot in HD here on KCAL 9 out from Long Beach. A little bit of flapping of the uh, flag, but what I want you to notice of the flag is the onshore flow starting to pick up instead of offshore flow. Now the flag is pointing onshore and that means that area of low pressure we've been talking about the last couple of days is on its way and, and I'll show you where it's at here in just a second. Downtown Los Angeles currently at 81 degrees, Burbank at 82, Riverside at 83, Ontario 84, Irvine still in the 70s, Lancaster at 81, Oxnard at 73 and here's a shot of the current winds around Southern California. Nearly double digits through the Santa Clarita area, one of the areas prone to very high winds but uh, mostly everybody in single digits and calm at this hour and we expect things to really start to calm down over the course of the next couple of days with regard to the winds. So cooler but still above normal today. The high pressure system moves out, low pressure moves in, below normal temperatures tomorrow, drizzle Thursday possible, showers Friday possible. Here's what's going on. This is the setup area of high pressure over Southern California is going to start to move off to the east being shoved off to the east by this trough of low pressure and its associated cold front again due to arrive Thursday night Friday. That's what might bring us a chance at some precipitation. We're also tracking this developing nor'easter. This is an area of low pressure out over Atlanta right now, but it's going to catch the jet stream here shortly and wrap right up into the New York City area again and even couple up with another area of low pressure. So we're expecting some tidal surge and and some snow and some rain for those folks, and it's certainly going to be the second punch of a one-two punch that they certainly don't need. With that disaster in mind, we thought this week on KCAL 9 we'd give you some disaster preparation tips here in Southern California, and this will go for any kind of disaster here, whether it be a mudslide, uh, earthquake, uh, whatever we may have here. Fires always have a gallon of water per person per day and at least a three-day supply on hand. A three-day supply of non-perishable food for each person and a pet, and make sure you you have a, a manual can opener as well. Also, you want a first aid kit, flashlights, uh, any medical uh, supplies you may need or meds uh, that you take on a normal uh, basis. Toiletries, a toolkit, and a lighter or matches. You're going to be able to make a flame of some kind. So keep those tips in mind. We'll have some more coming up at 2 o'clock here on KCAL 9. Let's check the five-day forecast. Still sunny tomorrow, but look at the temperatures below normal or at normal, 76 for this time of the year. Drizzle possible as the cloud cover picks up as the area low pressure arrives on Thursday. 68 for the daytime high on Thursday. 30% chance of scattered showers on Friday. 67 for the daytime high. Looks like the coolest day of the week is going to be Saturday as the storm starts to exit out. It's a cold core low and behind it, very cold temperatures.